All right, what's up YouTube? It's Jordan. Something new for me, I'm back for a second video in the same day. Talking about the same thing, crazy enough. We're gonna be talking about the how to reduce compression on the EVH5150 series of amps. Now this morning I did the EL34 and now I'm gonna do the 606. The main differences between these amps is uh, and the setups, this is a 606 with stock EVH Celestians. That is Neo 34 with Vintage 30s. Now you're saying that's gonna make a big difference. It's gonna make some difference, but when it comes down to it, really how you set your amp, and if you're using good speakers, which both of these are definitely good speakers, it's, it's not going to be that that big of a difference of what I'm talking about here. So what I'm talking about is people complain that the red channel on the EVH amps is unusable. It has too much gain, which that's let's not even talk about that. And then it's too compressed for people to use. So I'm going to show you. I've got the blue channel and the red channel EQ'd up exactly the same. I've got my resonance knob right at about noon, between 11 and noon. Global presence at about three quarters of the way up. Low is about two o'clock, mid's about 11, high's about one, and it's the same for the red channel. So let's start on the blue channel. Let's hear how that sounds like. No pedals on except for the Rev G8 because yeah, these amps are super noisy. That's my only complaint about these amps, by the way. So let's, oh, let's hear the uh, let's hear the blue channel by itself with these settings. <laughs> You know, is the blue channel of the amp that's obviously very open, crunchy, pretty good rhythm tone, right? So like I said, I've got the red channel EQ'd exactly the same. Now the big trick to this is a lot of people don't know, and I said this in the first video, but we're gonna do it again in case you didn't watch it. So when you get your amp, you need to play with the resonance and the presence knob. They're meant to work in tandem with each other. So just sit, have your buddy chug on the guitar and you sit and twist these knobs until you get a, a sound that you're looking for. Uh, the other thing, people think with, with high gain, you gotta crank the mids down. Dude, embrace the mids, bro. Crank them up. Uh, that brings life to your tone, to your guitar, to the amp. It lets the amp breathe start to feel air coming off the speakers. Mids are a wonderful thing, even for heavy metal, and I'll, I'll get to that too. So, again, let's play the blue channel. <laughs> Just some generic heavy riffs. We're gonna go to the red channel. EQ set up exactly the same. Now you're gonna say, but Jordan, that's that's compressed. Yes, it is compressed, but what I'm saying is reducing the compression. This is actually a very usable tone. And I'm not running anything except for a noise gate, which if you got the 5150s, you need to have a good noise gate, man. And I mean, it's it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly open. Fact, let's crank up the mids just a little bit. Let's crank them up to about one. Sounds pretty amazing in my 
my book, man. But you're like, Jordan, what if I want to run a boost, man? Isn't that going to crank up the mids and the highs? Yes. Yes, it is. But with your mids cranked up like that, it's going to decompress the sound even more. We're just going to run a basic, I'm using Earthquaker Plumes, basic tube skimmer style overdrive. Probably what most of you are using. And let's hear that. <laughs> educational check it out don't be afraid to mess with the knobs in your amp man uh, you don't need to scoop out the mids to get a heavy tone and uh, Eddie like I said in the other video Eddie was a genius he made these amps for all three channels to be used and embraced and loved and share this beautiful music in the world I know I'm sounding sappy man but this is my passion and it's my channel so I'm gonna be a sappy bearded dude Wah, wah. <laughs> but anyways man any questions comments complaints you mad at me I had a guy earlier tell me he hated v30s if you hate v30s jump in the comments let me know about it we'll talk about it uh, otherwise like comment subscribe share uh, hit the notification bell I'm doing two to three videos a week I think this is my third week on YouTube and I'm, I'm not going anywhere unless my camera breaks and uh, other than that, I'll be here making crappy videos for y'all to check out. Love y'all. Peace.